My name's James, I'm 25 and I'm from Southampton. When I went to school, I was teased by who I thought were my friends at the time. It was definitely hard, like, having the mick taken out of you for just having Christian parents. It had a negative impact on me in that I started taking out those sort of things on other people as well. People from my secondary school would probably describe me as a bit of a bully um, and probably not a very nice person, actually, at the time. The way I was treated definitely had a negative impact on my view of the church, faith, Jesus, everything, yeah. I'd got myself into a really bad mental state. I think I was being very much led by the world and chasing things that the world puts on us, like money, alcohol, women, drugs, um, and I was pursuing them all in attempt to make myself feel better about myself and feel happier. All it did was uh, spiral out of control and made things a uh, hundred times worse. Although I wasn't talking to them, um, or telling them how I was feeling. My parents were extremely worried about me. Um, my mum probably, especially. A friend invited me to Bridge the Gap, um, which is basically um, a football community um, designed to bridge the gap between um, young men and the church. So this is where it all started for me, really, on an evening very similar to this, rocking up and not knowing anyone. Yeah, I was anxious, but as soon as I walked through the gates, I was greeted, I was welcomed, someone introduced themselves to me, um, and straight away, you start feeling more at ease, you start feeling part of the community within the first 30 seconds. The lads that I met here, they suggested Alpha and said it would be a good thing for me, um, and having trusted the process so far, I thought I'd trust them as well. And I took their word for it and went along. I was told that at Alpha, we'd chat about big topics, which we did, and we'd have delicious food, which we also did. Um, but beyond that, I didn't really know what to expect. I remember kind of sitting in the car park, just like not really knowing whether to go in or not and eventually I plucked up the courage just to go for it. I went in for the first time. I was put on a table uh, with a bunch of strangers and yet I remember feeling so at peace and welcome and actually excited for whatever this was. The whole kind of atmosphere and vibe when you walk into the room isn't overwhelming at all. It's almost like, let's just go with the flow and see what happens. And that was my mindset at the time. Let's just kind of see what happens and see where this goes. Over the course of the eight, nine weeks, made so many good relationships with, at first, the strangers on my table, and now, must be three years later, and a few of them I'd call some of my best friends. As the weeks went on and we started digging more into what faith is and who was Jesus, I began becoming more and more intrigued and curious, and maybe it was something I'd overlooked. I'd started attending church more regularly, wouldn't say I was a Christian at this point, but was definitely curious and trying to figure out what it was all about. So I started going to church again. The speaker at the front asked anyone feeling kind of stuck at crossroads in their faith or in life in general to come to the front for prayer. And that described me perfectly. So I kind of walked in, heard this, and then just went straight to the front and thought, um, I'll get some prayer, which is something I'd never really done before. So. I walked to the front and I was prayed by someone that I'd never met before and I just remember at the time feeling totally overwhelmed with a feeling of love, peace, happiness and at the time I didn't know what it was but now looking back I know that that was the Holy Spirit really for the first time um, and it was that night then and there that I decided I wanted to be a Christian and gave my life to Jesus. My life has just totally transformed since becoming a Christian. There's been a lot of challenges and trials that I've faced over the last couple of years. Um, but because I know I'm doing that with a God that loves me and knows me, in a way, everything is easier. Um, even going through times of real pain and troubles, I have an inner peace. Um, and I have a God that I know I can lean on and rely on and help me in those situations.
I think my relationship with Jesus has massively helped me in overcoming grudges with people, helped me in um, for, you know, forgiving people, um, and just overcoming any sort of problems in my life in general. The transformation over the last five years is just, I, I feel like I'm unrecognizable. I'm, I'm a nicer person, I'm a kinder person, a more patient person. Um, a more loving person. And all of that is down to my relationship with Jesus. I absolutely love it. I'd never thought I'd say this, but going to church on a Sunday is the highlight of my week every week.